My name is Michael Miranda, and today a lesson about the rhythm you are just hearing, Abaqua, but the Matanzas style. Uh, that's different than the Havana style. Um, okay, let's start with the rhythms. Let's start with the quinto. Uh, the quinto starts with two open tones, just right, left, ting, ting. Then two notes are a rest, you don't do anything, and then two slaps. So you have ting, ting, nothing, nothing, slap, slap, ting, ting, taka, ting, ting, taka, ting, ting. The two rests that there are, uh, sometimes you can fill it in with fingertips. So you have ping, ping, tip, tip, slap, slap, Ting, ting, tip, tip, slap, slap, ting, ting, yes? I will show you in close-up how you can do this. One, two, three, four. The next rhythm is on the conga. Uh, the conga starts with two open tones, but the open tones are muted. That means you are hitting the skin, ting, but you are damping it immediately. So it's a very short note, tung. It has an open tone sound, not like a slap, open tone sound, but it is muted. I will show you in, in close up. Uh, but first I will explain the complete pattern. There are two open, muted uh, strokes with your right hand, then a slap with your left hand. Tu, tu, pa. Then palm and the fingers with your right hand and a slap with your left hand. So you have tu, tu, pa, tu, tu, ka. After this, again, an uh, open, muted T uh, tone with your right hand and a slap left hand. So if I count it, one, t t two, t t three, t t four, t t two, two, ka, two, two, ka, two, ka. After this slap, two open tones and really open tones this time with the right hand. So it's like two, two, ka, two, two, ka, two, ka, tung, tung. And those open tones may sound. Uh, when you start again, you play uh, with your left hand a slap before you start again. And that's it. That's what you are repeating. It's like this. One, t -t two, t -t three, t -t four, t -t two, two, ka, two, two, ka, two, ka, tum, tum, ka, two, two, ka, two, two, ka, two, ka, tum, tum, ka, two, two, ka, two. Like this. Let's look at this in close up. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, the last of the conga drums is uh, the tumba. The tumba is playing with the left hand a bass, after this bass a slap with the right hand, again a bass with the left hand and an open tone. Those are all the notes you have to play. Um, the rhythm is like this. One, t -t two, t -t three, t -t four, t -t two, pack. Boom, tu pa, ti boom, tu pa, ti boom, tu pa, ti boom, tu pa, ti boom. 
The rhythm is not too difficult, but it is tricky because uh, the slap and the open tone are directly after the beat. The bass is the beat and the slap and the open tone are directly after this beat. But that's a little bit tricky because the slap and the open tone are sounding louder than the bass. And what often happens is that when you play this, the slap and, and the open tone are slowly going towards the beat. And suddenly you, you, you are playing like this. To pa, to boom, to pa, to boom, to pa. If this happens, then it's wrong. <laughs> then you have to try again. Because the bass is the beat. So you have pak, boom, pak, boom, pak, boom, ka, kum. That's how it should be played, yes? Okay, let's look at this close up too. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, there is a clave in it, and uh, the clave is played on a cowbell. In Abaqua it's called Econ. Um, it's the 6-8 clave. This rhythm is in 6-8, so that means the beat is subdivided in three. Like I already uh, let you know that... Two, t -t -pa -t 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so... The clave is like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the clave. Okay. Um, these are the patterns for the Abaqua of Matanzas. Uh, before I put all these patterns together, I will show you some extra patterns you can use which fit in really nice in this Abaqua. First, the shikere. You can play the shikere, and the pattern you are playing on the shikere is like this. One, t -t two, t -t three, t -t four, t -t ta. Ta 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 That's the way the shakiri is. Perhaps I better show you in close up how you can play this. One, two, three, four. There's also another bell pattern that you can use in this abacoa. And uh, it goes like this. The first stroke is on the mouth of the uh, campana. Then two at the higher sound. Tung ting ting. This you will do again. Tung ting ting. Tung ting ting. And the third time you are playing tung ting. But the last one is going to the mouth again. Tung ting tung. So it's like tung ting ting, tung ting ting, tung ting tung, tung ting ting, tung ting ting, tung ting tung, tung ting ting, tung ting ting, tung ting tung. Yes? Uh, this pattern is really nice because uh, if you will clap the beat, if I hit the beat, you will see that uh, this pattern. It comes back after f uh, four beats, it will start on the one again. And all the time it's turning around. So we have tung ting ting, tung ting ting, tung ting tung, tung ting ting, tung ting ting, tung ting tung, 
Tum tin tin, tum tin tin, tum tin tum, tum tin tin. Yes? Let's look at this close up too. One, two, three, four. Abaqua of Matanzas, uh, traditionally it's played on uh, the Abaqua drums. Those are small drums and they were played most of the time with one hand. But as the congas and the tumbadores went very popular, most of the rhythms they were translated to the congas. And if you play congas you can play with two hands. So the patterns for the Matanzas uh, Abaqua of Matanzas and also for uh, the Abaqua from Havana style, you can play it, when they are playing it on congas, you can play with two hands, so they put extra notes in it. Uh, the old tradition, it was not done, but nowadays on congas you can put some extra fingertips, extra slaps, you can make it uh, more nice. So that's what happening here, but traditionally it was played on other drums, than congas. Okay, as you can see, I've written all the patterns that I've played. I've written it here, you can read it if you can read notes. It looks like this. And now is the time that we put all the patterns together and play this abaqua of Matanzas. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I hope you, uh, you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial and hope to see you next time. Bye bye!